I'm living in that 21st century, doing something mean to it. Do it better than anybody you ever seen. Do it. Screams from the haters. Got a nice ring to it. I guess every superhero need his theme music. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Gemini Berserker up in here. And today I will be doing a um, a reaction video per se uh, for the uh, fighting game community video that my homie Breeze made, and it's also going to be a response to the video that my uh, man's Dan the Man made in re in response to Breeze's original video. So this is kind of like the third iteration. If you want to go check those, uh, I'd probably say go watch their two videos first before you watch this one. So that way you can get a good idea of what I'm talking about in the video. So today, and the premise behind this is the uh, the FGC or fighting game community. Now, w short recap of what was said in Breeze's video is that he was mainly talking about how the fighting game community is a very toxic place to be. Now, in that he was describing how certain things as you may be seeing on the screen are happening such as people taking advantage of no time blocks or over extensive combos but as you can see uh, I'm getting bodied now uh, what he was reiterating is that things like this happen where people who won't let you even get a move in edgewise will take advantage of the combo or certain move that certain characters do as you saw earlier in this video so far that the man was using Virgil and was uh, stopping me from moving any type of it but uh, and then Dan in his response said yes it is a toxic community because of uh, the things that happen and he was also saying how the FPS community was uh, very toxic as well. Now I would like to shed a little light on this because I am a fan of both uh, fighting games and some shooters. So as far as shooters go, yes, it is very toxic. If you have ever played Call of Duty online, you will notice that if you are on the team mic speak, that people will bash you for no reason. You go ahead and die like a few times, and you got people calling you a bunch of names, unsavory things. You know, I won't go into a full list of details with that. But uh, speaking of which, a quick little, um, quick little uh, of a story. So originally, when I was playing, I, when I first Call of Duty game I ever played was Black Ops One. And I like Blackout, so, you know, when I first got my mic, uh, me and my friends at the time in middle school, we were playing, and so, you know, it was fun, up until this kid started talking trash, and, you know, I got a little upset, because I was like, come on, man, we're just trying to play a game, we're trying to have fun, he's like, oh, you guys are bad, yada yada, because, you know, that's just what people do, and so, in response to that, I kind of said a few hurtful things to him, not, not, I wouldn't, like, call him names or anything. I was just kind of saying how his parents didn't care about him, but I didn't play the game all day. But, uh, there's more along things like that. Now, as far as the fighting game community, it's not so much trash talking. You do get a few people who, if you're in the mic, they'll be like, oh, you're bad, kid. You're good. Stuff like that. But, um, there are also things like this where people... Like I said, take advantage and corner lock you how he's doing to me right there. I guess he had to get his revenge for that raging demon I got on him earlier, which is fine. And, you know, like I said, <laughs> these type of things are toxic, yes. You have those very toxic people who are always trash talking. You have different people. Now, I'll put this in perspective. You have the trash talker, which is that person, no matter what, whether good or bad, will always say, that you as a person need to get at the game regardless if you've beaten them 12 times in a row um, then you have the spammer the spammer is the person who will use the same move over and over and over again through the whole fight they'll do throw like one or two regular punches spam same move then you have the uh, the corner fighter the corner fighter is that guy who won't let you ever get out of the end screen like he will hold you there 
until he's done with you. Same as Breeze was saying, like he he won't be done with you until he's done. And I think as you're about to see here, is actually what's about to happen. Um, so, and also like the main fact, he, I love this game. I love Marvel's Cap Man. It's a fun game, but you know, for certain people make it not fun. Same thing with the whole fighting game for me. You have the Mortal Kombat scene. If you watch Dan's video, you'll see what I'm talking about. You have the Street Fighter scene. You have Injustice. All these other fighting games in Marvel. So Capcom, for instance, as I'm showing. And as, as I'm showing right now, he's like he's just keeping me in that corner with a single two moves. And just going back to his spamming, as you see. Now, it's not so much that the community is so toxic as you do have those few people who are pretty solid at what they do they know different combos they know how to string but they also won't take advantage of you like like uh like i'm pretty good in naruto but i also know people who are way better than me such as uh my homie Q keon uh I'll put a link into his channel later uh my homie black jacket um cosmic has beat me on a few occasions so it's not that I perceive myself as like really good. It's just I know you. You're there, no matter what person it is, there's always going to be someone better than you. So always keep that in mind. Like hear how this dude's trashing me. I know somewhere in the world, or I probably know a few people who trash this dude hands down. So, and the funnier part is about this. I messaged the dude. I messaged the dude after all the fights were done, and I was like, "But why though?" And he responded with, "Oh, well, I wasn't going. Actually, you know, what? hold on. Let me. I want to read the message word for word, so that way you guys know. Give me a second. Uh, hold on. Let me find it. Because it was just funny though how he basically was wording everything. Uh, there we go. I said, "Okay, but why though?" He said, "What? I'm lost." He said, "What?" I'm lost. I said, but why you have to do that to me? I'm just, I just wanted to have fun, my dude. He was like, oh, when I was going off with combos, that, I'm sorry, I kept dropping combos like crazy, so it was all good. I, it doesn't justify that the fact that you thrashed me. It, it, it kind of doesn't justify that just because you were missing your combos, and I, I couldn't do anything regardless. So in response to that, I said, but you didn't have to body me, though. He was like, I didn't really go too hard, body. If it looked like that, I'm sorry. I, it, which is fine. I have no problem with losing. I don't. Trust me. I've, I've taken out plenty of times. But it's... It's to the point where the fighting game community has lost its luster. As you see right there, he's just... He's doing the same combo with Dante, as you can see. And it's just one of those things where... You can't help but be upset. And you know, I, I I do enjoy the fighting games. I do. I like like I'm not the best in Injustice, but I like it. And speaking of which I, I will be buying Injustice 2, Marvel's Capcom Infinite and Tekken 7 when y'all hit uh, street date. But you know, it's as you can see here, I was like baffled how he did that. He can apparently hit the X Factor and go into it again. And it's just one of those things where people have played the game so much that they can abuse the combo systems and those split second timing that not even a lot of people would even consider doing but it's you know I don't have a problem with it I do feel like the community needs to get stronger like people need to like like this is my thing there's always going to be someone better than you yes um you're always gonna have the, that person who either swears they're the best, or you're always gonna have that person who is really good but doesn't brag. So, well, let me put it in perspective. If I had to make a tier list of all my friends, or let's just say, like, because I know the only game that we all have actually played is probably. Well, you know what? Even in Mortal Kombat, let me just say Mortal Kombat. Uh. The, probably the best person out of our out of like our group would be our homie Nakui, but he doesn't I mean he has a Playstation but we don't make videos with him 
So like he'd probably be the best in Mortal Kombat. Hands down. He trashed everybody in our Then you have I'd probably say Breeze because he is he does know the combos though. And then you basically have everybody else. So you basically have everybody else, meaning me, Cosmic, Astro. Dan is is pretty good. I haven't actually played him like in in like a long time, so that, hey, we have him. But uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where you can't help but if someone is better than you, you just can't. It's okay. But you you can be the best in your home. You can be the best in your friends. You can be the best in the neighborhood. You can be the best in the city. You can be the best in the state. You'll be number one in the nation. You'll be number one in the region, number one in the nation. But, regardless, even if you are the number one in the world, there's probably someone out there who is like secretly way better than you. And sometimes you you don't know it yet, and up until that person just decides to, you know, step up and say, hey, I can bother you. And, you know, it's like, like, a, like I keep saying, there's always going to be something better than you. Sometimes you just can't help it. You have those people who cheat, who are cheap with the game, who just exploit the game's mechanics sometimes. Like, you have the people who use Hulk just because... He, like, what's it called? Marvel, I think, was it one or two? That Venom, that's why Venom isn't in a Marvel's Capcom games anymore. Because of how dirty he was and how he was basically unstoppable if you knew how to use him right. And you have those things where it is hard to stop someone if they're better than you. Hands down, yes. But it's also not hard to be a jerk. It's also not that hard. You can easily play a game, take an L or take a W and be graceful about it. It's just honestly all up to that person, and you know it's it's honestly not that bad of a deal. But that's my little rant and reaction video to the uh, fighting game community for FGC. So let me guys, uh, I'll put the links in the description for Breeze's video and Dan's video. So let me get yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And oh, geez, <laughs> yeah, I'll put the shit out of me. <laughs> oh my god, this is just the computer. But like I said, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.